So what does it feel like being a dad now after a year, man? Oh, man, it's, it's, he's a cool... It's weird because everybody keep asking me that and I keep saying it, he's such a chill kid that it don't... It, it's just, it just doesn't infringe upon my life at all. He's such a... He's such a... You know, I mean, you know how easy he is. He really, mm. he, both of y'all know how easy. He don't cry. He don't... I mean, you know, he grunts. He's potty trained already. You know, he grunts, put him on the potty, bonk. He drops a, drops a load like he's a truck driver. When a couple of times I was like, damn. <laughs> I felt like a truck driver snuck in the house and shit it in his potty. But I mean, like, when do we? Good. When he start eating all that corned beef? What is this all about? <laughs> what is it, why is there sauerkraut in this? Yeah, like, <laughs> Babies baby, don't eat what, sauerkraut. Baby, are we feeding this kid raw sausages? What is it? Raw <laughs> Why is it? Why is this guy got? Why is he got hot hot dogs with sauerkraut on it? Yeah. But you know he's so chill, so it's it's cool. I mean, I kind of I knew what it was gonna be. You know, I knew what it was gonna be. I knew what what it would take, and and I was ready for it. And I, you know, I mean, you spend so much time helping other people, and you know, a lot of a lot of dudes like fans of the show was like, "Yo, you need to, you should have a son, dog. You shouldn't." You shouldn't let all this. Or uh, this is what they said to me. You shouldn't let all this greatness just die with you. You know what I mean? You need to pass it on. And I was like, "You right. I shouldn't let all this greatness just you're right. die with me." And then your wife knocked on the door. You're like, "Are you done in the bathroom?" You're like, "I'm almost done. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm almost let done me, shaving." Let me show you the greatness. <laughs> I mean, he's an adorable baby, man. It's good, it's good to see. Uh, I know how happy you are with him. There, I'm still. I still go back and forth on whether I want. I know how much love you have for it, but I also know how much responsibility there is for it. Because I'm around my brother and his kids now. He's mad chill. He's good. He's cool. But I mean, it's not like look. You got to have a good partner. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of whack when you, you know, if you don't got a good partner and they're not, you know, I mean, and, and they're not pulling their weight. You know what I mean? It's that's like, part it's, of it. Yeah, of course you have to be, but. My model is my parents and I, they, they, uh, they did their best, but at the same time, I, I look back on some of the things I'm like, yeah, I can't do this the way my dad did this because my dad allowed my dad. It was clear. My dad worked seven days a week and it was clear that the stress got to him yeah. because the things I remember now as a little kid was him being angry all the time. And I realized what it is, is that he had the pressure of raising three kids and, and a mortgage and working seven days a week. So he didn't want any inconveniences whatsoever. Right. So anything, any hiccup was like a speed bump in his life. And he did not deal with the stress. Well, he would just start screaming. Why does life keep fucking me? You guys are, <laughs> you guys does, are killing why me. Does, why does life keep fucking me? This family's killing me. <laughs> you guys your, your mom was wild. Kill me. <laughs> your mom was wilding out too. That's she's, true. My she's mom out was wild for the night. But it's thing. It's is. I think this is the Shout thing out about ASAP Rocky. <laughs> I think the the thing is that if you if he was older, the problem is you get older and you don't have the same energy. But mm. when you're older, you have more wisdom. You, at least you have more wisdom and you can navigate. You can navigate. Now, what I do? Three kids? Hell no. My pops had. My pops was sixteen, eight boys and eight girls. Like, there's no way that you could give 16 kids what they need as parents. I mean, even if you're filthy rich, like, I don't even you mean material. The time. The time the is time not and enough. For them. And, and, like, and so, you, you know, I, I always say this, like, it's interesting how um, my fault, you know, if the kids just didn't die, if you didn't kill your kids, then you you did good. You was a good parent. Your kids didn't die on the way to adulthood. Right. You did all that right. That was the only goal. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.